on TV, Arrow began airing in 2012. And it's interesting, you know, because we're still in this weird place of DC kind of trying to make their movies happen. They've got three coming up, so there's a lot that they're gambling yeah. on right now. Uh, three as far as filming, there's way more planned. Yeah. But Arrow was, yeah, kind of, a, when you look back now, the fact that we're about to get the third show in this universe, mm -hmm. it's pretty impressive. And when Arrow began, you know, it was definitely cribbing from the Dark Knight movies, uh, I think, to a fault when it began. Mm -hmm. But then you really, it started to feel, find its groove as that first season went on and became cooler and cooler, I think. And yeah, by yeah. the end of the first season, it's like, okay, they know what they're doing here. And, like, the CW sort of had, a like, a negative connotation with it, I think, yeah. before this. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it was like, oh, they're doing this on the CW? Like, that's, that seems weird. And then it comes out, and you're like, oh, like, this is really good. This is actually pretty dark and well done. And, yeah. like, the fight choreography is fight awesome. choreography is really good. Yeah. The, the flashback scenes were like probably my favorite scenes. Oh, stuff on the yeah. island, yeah. Is, yeah. And just even like the fact that the the you know pilot uh, established like the Deathstroke mask. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like they were very quickly setting up stuff that if you were a fan of the comics, like ooh, I wonder yeah. where they're going with that, and and they would usually pay it off. Uh, so there was like a lot of things there that I think would grab people as they yeah. went on. Yeah. And it's always interesting to me when they take. Uh, I don't want to say B tier because I feel like that's negative, but like a hero that's not as well known as Batman yeah. or yeah, Wolverine, yeah. Yeah. and it's like, well, are people going to care about this guy? And then they just handle it really well. Like that's, um, like we were talking about other episodes, something like Guardians of the Galaxy. It's like none of us really knew what that was, and then it comes yeah. out and you're like, oh, this is awesome actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's handled well. But it really is funny when you look back when Arrow began because it was so feeling like the Nolan Batman movies down to the fact that there seemed to be no superpowers in this world. Mm -hmm. And then they kind of, I think now they once they more. felt comfortable and they knew the audience was comfortable with mm -hmm. it, it's like, yeah. okay, now The Flash has a spinoff, but also he's regularly dealing with like mystical stuff yeah. and powers all around him. And you saw the show get bigger and bigger and, sort of, and now there's a lot of people running around in masks and it's really fun to see. Yeah, there's a lot of anthropomorphic <laughs> villains running around too on that show. <laughs> Uh, I think season one of Arrow is really good. I think season two is awesome. Season yeah. two is, that's, that's their best one. year so far.